Hi there. So uh, what am I going to do with this quick demo? I'm actually going to give a quick demonstration of how we can process uh, structured and unstructured data with Logger and uh, the very simple regex tool that we have built in. So uh, by default, this is just a simple search I've run. It's just on any every log data uh, that I've received. So we can see there's a mixture of, of information here. There's lots of uh, data from different systems. So that's OK. Uh, typically, uh, structured data will be shown with a device vendor and a device product. So we've we've actually understood what's going on. So uh, just as an example, if I if I just actually just look for some log data where we don't have a device vendor, uh, device vendor. Uh, so let's get it right, is null. So we just use that simple operator. So there's no device vendor. So we're actually now looking for log data that's that's typically what we call raw syslog or it's unparsed, unstructured. Uh, so we can see there's lots of information in there. It's pretty straightforward. Uh, we're, just, we're just processing the data and there's lots of information there. So we can see what's going on. Great. So that's useful data. Now I need to understand what I can do with some of this data. So, for example, I can see that there's some, some information there, and I can see that there's, uh, as part of the helper here, I can see that it's picked out an alert. And if I just click on that, it'll actually stick that in as a, as a free text search, and it'll search the index data, and there we have the information that, that's corresponding to those particular events. Okay, so that's useful, but it's not entirely helpful at that point. Actually, I want to pull out some further information, uh, for example, some IP addresses here. So what I can do is I can just click on the helper there, uh, and what it does is it automatically extracts all the fields for me and starts to understand what's going on. So suddenly I'm now presented by some regex that it's automatically done uh, of the particular fields information. I haven't had to type any regex here, but I'm actually interested in the IP address and I'm interested in the alert information that's going there. So you can see it's automatically highlighted it. Uh, I just press my OK and it's put in the search information for me there uh, for the relevant data. So OK, so I can just run that search. I'm interested in that, that, that particular data which has got the alert in it. Uh, and there we go, there's the events. Um, but that's, that's useful. What I want to do is actually I want to, I want to chart this. I want to stick it into a chart. So I can actually just put it into the, into the top uh, for a chart. But the important thing is that I've actually allocated uh, some information here. So in this, this particular case, I've actually given this a field name for me to process. So now I can just very simply go IP address underscore one as my uh, field for doing my top chart. So I can now just do the search. Uh, it's doing that search on the regex. I can now see there's some information in there and the vast majority of the events actually don't have an IP address that's in there uh, but I can see there's a mixture of other events uh, from different IP addresses accordingly. So it's actually very simple and very easy for me to do that uh, just by clicking a few buttons. And notice there, I haven't had to type a single bit of regex. It's automatically done that for me. It's automatically processed it for me. I can even put, put that into a chart for me as well. Uh, so it's very simple and very straightforward. I've had to do no additional processing or programming around regex for that. So that's it. Just a quick demonstration to show what you can do. Uh, just if you use that regex helper. And that's it. Thank you. Thank mm -hmm. you.